I'm Dr. Dan from Vitamin Pro, and this is part three where we're talking about neurotransmitter testing and now uh, treatment. Parts one and two, we talk about what are neurotransmitters, how do we test for those, and we can take the information from the lab tests, put together with your clinical picture, you know, your symptoms, and come up with a plan. And the way we, we manipulate this is with amino acids and herbs because, and there are four different things we're doing, and this is basically a little bit of neuropharmacology. And of course, we're not going to get too deep into this, but you need to know a little bit about it because when you read labels, I want you to have some feel. Obviously, you don't need to know all the details, but just some idea of why those herbs are in there, like valerian or huperzine, or um, you know, why is tryptophan in there or 5 HTP? So, the, there are uh, four basic things that we're trying to accomplish. One would be to increase the precursors to the, the neurotransmitters that are deficient. So if serotonin is deficient, we can add some tryptophan or 5-HTP. Now, one thing i got to tell you though, is if you try self-treating with this, you're probably not going to have very good results because it's actually a bit more complicated than what I'm saying. I'm giving you general principles here, which are, are going to be true for everybody but the application has to be very specific for you. So, you know, you can't just throw St. John's Word at a problem and expect it to work. Now, that brings up the second part, which would be um, reuptake inhibition, which um, there's a whole science of that, but St. John's Word is actually uh, what's called a monoamine reuptake inhibitor. That would be serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine, and that works tremendously for some people, not so good for others, because you're also increasing dopamine and norepinephrine, which are excitatory, but decreasing uh, or increasing serotonin, which is an inhibitory pathway. So it's not quite specific as you might want, but for some people, of course, it's, it's fantastic. So another way would be to increase the receptor activity, and or we might work on some of the enzymes that are break down, you know, like cuprazine, for example, works on inhibiting acetylcholine breakdown that uh, enzymes acetylcholine esterase and so it inhibits that so you know it's not that you need to really remember all these because obviously you're not going to but I want you to have an idea of how it is that in the natural world we can use these amino acids and herbs and give you some really great results and help balance out your neurotransmitters which is what we're trying to accomplish here so read through, uh, read through the text here that I put with this video, and if you're looking at this on, um, on my website, you'll know, have a slightly different version of this, but I'll, I'll have some of these uh, examples in there. So the, you know, there's a it's fantastic what we can do with, uh, with these uh, supplements today. It's, uh, it's, been, it's been so rewarding and phenomenal. So anyway, uh, give us a call and uh, we'll do what we can for you to get your neurotransmitters good so that you're, uh, you can get rid of that anxiety, depression, insomnia, fatigue. So that's, uh, that's all we have for today, so thanks a lot for listening.